everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be bringing you guys something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a kids clothing haul. So something a little bit different from my channel. Personally as a mum I love watching kids clothing hauls. Um, I'm sure other mums out there like watching them as well. If you don't I'm really sorry um, but I just really wanted to show you guys what I got. I got some really cute items. If this isn't a video you're interested in, I totally understand. I will be back with my normal content very soon. But So we're going through a few noise battles at the moment, you may hear in the background. It is pouring rain. There are kids outside playing in the school behind us. My washing machine is going, so I apologise in advance. So I went shopping at Kmart and Best and Less for the kids' winter clothes. Um, I did actually struggle getting what I wanted um, just because everywhere's out of stock at the moment and things are delayed from shipping from China. So I have three big bags full of clothes, as I said, from Best and Less and Kmart. So let's just get into it, hey? So I'm going to start off with Best and Less. So Best and Less had a lot of empty shelves, so I could only get my hands on some limited items. Um, Andre's growing really quick, so even though he has heaps of clothes already, I thought let's get him some new ones because it won't be long until he won't fit into what he's wearing now. And Phoenix got a lot of clothes for her birthday, but just not enough for every single day. So I'm going to start with dressing gowns. So I picked up this one from Best and Less for Phoenix. So this is a size 1, so 12 to 18 months. It feels really, really warm. Um, I thought it was really, really pretty. Um, this one was $15. Um, and it was the last one in stock, but they did say they're getting more in. But I just thought, how beautiful is that? Look at it. So I did let Andre pick out his own dressing gown, and he ended up picking the blue one with monkeys. So a really, really soft material. This one was $16. I got it in a size 3. I think he'll be able to get two years out of this. Uh, it's very fitting, because I always tell him he's a little monkey, because that's what he carries on like. Throws food on the floor, climbs the furniture, jumps off things carries on like a monkey. So very, very fitting. Um, super cute. Let's move on to jumpers. So in the whole of Best and Less, there was only one size 3 boys jumper left. And it's this one here. It's by the brand Bad Boy. Really old school brand. Um, it has a hoodie on it and it just says around the top, no rules, no limits. So I guess that's a saying that Andre lives by. Uh, this one was $20. So for Phoenix, it was the same story. I really struggled to get my hands on anything in a size 1. Um, jumper wise anyway. Um, so I ended up picking up this one right here in a size 0. So I still think it will fit her. Um, at least for this winter. It's got the little faux sheepskin on the inside of the hoodie. So that'll keep her nice and warm. And this one was $15. But I just thought that was super cute. I think I'm really game buying her white. I don't know why I do things like that. So the next thing I picked up for Phoenix is just this tracksuit collard. I just thought this was super cute and super comfy. Um, it's just that old school 90s tracky material. I got them both in a size 1. The pants were $15 on their own and the jacket was $20. Bucks. So for $35, bucks, a really cute tracky set. So yeah, that's all I could get my hands on jumper-wise in Best and Less. So I was a little bit disappointed with that. Um, but I'm going to move on to shirts. So the first shirt I picked up for Andre is just this one right here. It's another one of the Bad Boy brands. So it's just a long sleeve with writing down the side um, in a size 3. And this one was $12. So the next shirt I picked up for Andre is just this one right here. It's just the Best and Less brand. Um, long sleeve, size 3 as well. And this one was only $8, but I thought it was a really cool shirt. So the next shirt I picked up is this one right here. It's just a blue and red long sleeve shirt. It has the red pocket on it. This one was only $5, so I thought that was a really good buy. Um, this can be dressed up or dressed down. I feel like he can wear this with trackies or jeans, and he can get two completely different looks out of it. So for $5, I was really happy with this find. So the next two shirts that I got for Andre are just a little bit more dressy. So I've got this one right here. I think they call it Coldroy, 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 I don't know, I'm not a fashion guru, um, but it's just that really nice material, nice and warm. This one was $20 and it's in the Breakers brand. It has a beautiful collar and it's all tailored really nicely at the back. So as I said, a really nice dressy shirt. So this shirt right here was only $20 and what a beautiful color. And the final shirt that I got for Andre is just this one right here and it 
and it's in a beautiful linen material. I got this one in a size 2 because they didn't have a size 3. This one was $15 and again I think this would look really really nice uh, dressed up with a nice jacket or some jeans. Just a really really cute find. Oh, I lied. There's another shirt for Andre. So I got this shirt as well. This one was only $5. Just an essential that every person should have in their wardrobe. Um, it's a long line length, which is perfect for him because he is super tall. I got this in a size 3. It is organic cotton, so perfect for him and his eczema prone skin. And this one was only $5. So again, what an awesome buy and what a really nice colour. Again, can be dressed up or dressed down. So, another good find. Now for Phoenix's clothes. So, again, there wasn't much in a size 1. I was very disappointed. Heaps of baby stuff left, but obviously there's a lot of kids that have just turned 1 um, and need some winter clothing. So, the first shirt I found is just this little yellow shirt with butterflies. Um, and it's just sort of ruched and tied off at the bottom. So, it will sit right on sort of her pants line. Um, yeah, so it just has the butterflies, really, really pretty long sleeve. This is in the, this is in a mini mango brand from Best and Less, and this one was only $5. So, super, super cute, can go with anything, again, can be dressed up or dressed down. Um, yeah. So the next shirt I'm going to show you is also from the Mini Mango brand. This one was only $5 and it's just this beautiful lilac turtleneck shirt. Again, another versatile piece. Can be dressed up, dressed down, worn every day, be worn out. Just really, really pretty. So for $5, I thought that's a staple that every little girl needs. So butterflies must be a theme going on at Best and Less at the moment. So this is from the Favourites range and it's just a white long sleeve shirt with some butterflies on it that says be kind. Um, this one I think was only $5. I don't think it'd be any more than that but it doesn't have the price on it. But yeah, I'm assuming this would have only been about 5 bucks. The next shirt I'm going to show you is probably one of my favourite items that I got and Justin wasn't too impressed. But um, I think it's super cute. And it is from the Dance Mango range in Best and Less. And it's just this little crop top, long sleeve, like ballerina style shirt. Um, yeah, it's just got the crossover at the top. And I just thought how beautiful would she look in like a little tutu and tights and boots. And I don't know. But... I got this in a size 1 and this was only $8, but yeah, definitely, definitely one of my favourite pieces. I'll show you in the light. Oh my goodness, how beautiful. So as I said earlier, originally I was only trying to go in and get some tracky pants for Andre and some pyjamas more than anything. Um, and I really struggled. They didn't have any trackies for Andre. I really couldn't find them anywhere in either store. And just pants in general were a bit of a struggle to get my hands on. Um, but these are the ones I did get. So the first pair of pants I got Andre are just these beautiful grey pair right here. They do have the adjustable waist which is really really an essential thing for Andre because he is super tall and super skinny. I promise I do feed him but he's just like his father just tall and thin. Um, these are a size 3 and these were $12 so I thought really really beautiful. Um, they're all folded at the bottom. They can be unrolled to have full length. Um, really nice. They have some real pockets at the back and real pockets at the front so he should get probably two years wear out of this. The next set I really, really, really like. I love yellow, clearly. Um, and it's just this pair right here. So I think these are more in a chino type style. Again, with the adjustable waist and from the Breakers brand, $12 as well, size three. A really nice mustard color. Real pockets at the back and real pockets at the front, but really super, super cute. I can't wait to get him in these. Now, I ended up picking up this pair of tracksuit pants for Andre. I got them out of the girls section. Um, so I just got them in a size 3. Um, they're really nice and warm on the inside. I thought, I don't really care that they're from the girls section. This poor kid needs some nice plain black trackies. So, yeah, I don't know if you can tell that they're from the girls section or not. But this is what he's rocking at the moment. These ones are from the Favourites brand. And I think... I don't know how much they are because it doesn't say on the tag. 
But I would assume, actually, no, nope, it doesn't say on that pair either. Um, I would assume they're only they were less than 10 bucks. So just a basic pair of trackies. Now for Phoenix, also from the Mini Mango brand. Um, not really winter, but um, it can be winter if you want to wear tights underneath. And like a long sleeve crossover, little crop top. <laughs> um, it's just this beautiful pink tutu right here. Um, as I said, I feel like it would look beautiful with just a pair of tights, some boots, um, a black shirt. Just, I don't know, super cute, really girly. Um, and she is starting to take her first steps at the moment. So it won't be long until I can put her in something like this. Um, yeah, so I got this in a size zero because I feel like the waist looks quite big. So this one right here was $15 and I thought, you know what, it's quite stretchy. She can probably wear it until she's like four or five years old. So if it lasts that long. <laughs> so for $5, I also picked up just these leggings. Um, they're just pink with the copper dots on them. And um, this was only $5 and this is from the mini mango range as well. And I also picked up some yellow trackies for Phoenix. Um, the same, they are the exact same ones as Andre had just in yellow. And again, these don't have the price on them either. So as I said, I think they were under $10. Really, really cute with the nice warm lining on the inside. So perfect for winter. Now for pajamas. So in the whole of Best and Less, I could only get my hands on one pair of pajamas and they were for Andre. So he needed some new winter pajamas. So it was this set right here. So it's just Mario Kart. So the top is just this beautiful long sleeve shirt, really colorful, nice bright print. It says, here we go on it. It should say, here we go to bed. And the pants are just this beautiful cotton flannelette print. They have Mario on them. Um, with the drawstring as well, which is essential. It is a real drawstring. And for the set, it was only $20. So I wasn't mad at that at all. Now for accessories, Andre does not like hats, but he picked out a hat and he really wanted it. So I ended up getting him just a little snapback. This was only five bucks. As I said, I don't think he'll wear it because he never keeps anything on his head. But at the time he really wanted it and it kept him quiet in the trolley. So I wasn't mad at that. So I did think I had enough headbands for Phoenix. She also doesn't like wearing things on her head. Um, but clearly I didn't have enough because I picked up three more. You guys know what best and less is like, right? You go to the counter. While you're waiting in line, there's a million cute accessories there and you just end up throwing them in your basket. So obviously I have no self-control and picked up more. So the first one I got was just this beautiful crocheted yellow mustardy headband. And I just thought that is just beautiful and she doesn't have anything like it. So this one was $12. And then I picked up two more. Um, these ones are also crocheted but have a really big bow. So I thought these actually might somewhat keep her head warm as well um that's obviously if she'll keep them on her head um but yeah i just thought these were really really cute you think oh 12 bucks for a headband it's super cute it's not much it's a decent price right until you get three and then you come home and your partner looks at you like you spent 36 bucks on three headbands sorry not sorry and while I was at Best and Less, I also picked up just a pack of two socks for Andre. Um, these are only $2 and they are size 2 to 5. So yeah, that's it from Best and Less. So let's move on to Kmart. I can't find the receipt for Best and Less, so I don't know how much I spent. But at Kmart, I ended up spending $222 exactly. So I'll show you what I got. So I'll start with pants. So the first set I got are just these cargo joggers for Andre. These are only $15. I really like the color. And again, I thought they were quite versatile. It does have an adjustable waist. So I was really happy with that. And for 15 bucks, I thought these are a really cool pair of pants to grab. So the next pair of pants I got for Andre are just this blue chino style jogger. Um, really, really cute. Again, with the adjustable waist in a size three for $15. So I thought these are really nice and can go with a lot of the shirts that we got. Yeah, just another basic essential that I feel his wardrobe was missing. And for Phoenix, I picked up this pair of leggings right here. So she has so many leggings, but what I liked about these is they're actually fleece lined. So they're 
quite warm on the inside compared to most leggings that are quite thin so I thought these would be really good for her to have you know on the colder days um, that I don't want her in jeans and I just want her to be nice and comfortable so these are only seven dollars um, fleece line they're just a really nice burnt orange color with some flowers on top so really cute and different you know they're not just basic leggings they're nice and warm they're actually going to do what they're supposed to do so the first shirt i got for andre is just this textured long sleeve shirt it has a really nice pattern on it and a really nice texture as you can see um just something that i thought would keep him warm and he can wear with a lot of outfits and this i feel can be easily dressed up or dressed down and for ten dollars i thought this is a basic that he really should have in his wardrobe so the next shirt i picked up for andre is just this one right here it has a navy panel a gray panel and a yellow panel it says adventure explorer on the top left um, it's long sleeve cuffed at the bottom um, this was only seven dollars and i got it in a size three so the last shirt I picked up for Andre is just this one right here. It is in sort of like a rugby jersey style. Um, it is navy and yellow. It has a nice cuff sleeve on it. It is in a very thick material. So perfect for winter. Um, again, something that can be easily dressed up and dressed down. Um, he doesn't need to wear a jumper with it because I know that the wind shouldn't really get through this material because it does feel a lot better quality than the other shirts that I did purchase. So this shirt also has a beautiful collar on it as well so if he was to wear a jumper I could pull the collar out and just make it look really neat. This was only $12 and again I got it in a size 3. So the next two shirts I got were for Phoenix. Um, I only picked up two basics for her. I did get her a lot of clothes for her first birthday. Um, the first one I picked up is just this one right here. It's just a really thin thin long sleeve shirt maybe something to wear under something else this one was only two dollars and i got it in a size one the next shirt i picked up for her is just this one right here it's just a really pretty sort of a navy blue with some polka dots on it has a couple of buttons down the front this one was only five dollars again in the size one Okay, now we're on to jumpers. So this is something I really wanted to find, especially for Andre, because they're all just getting a little bit short for him. So the first jumper I picked up for Andre is this one right here. It's just a crew neck jumper. It's not very thick at all, but Andre does get hot quite quickly with his skin. So I, I try and steer away from thick things and just like to layer things as needed. Um, this one I got in a size three and it was only $12. And it has a really cool animal print on it. So it's just the cheetahs in the yellow and the blue. So the next jumper I picked up for Andre is just this one right here. It's the khaki colour with the navy stripes. It is in like a woolen material. Um, he doesn't have anything like this in his wardrobe currently. I feel like this material will breathe. It's not overly heavy or thick, um, but I do feel like it will be quite warm. Um, this one was only $15 and I got it in a size 3. Here we go again with the yellow, but this is the next jumper I picked up for Andre. I just really liked the texture on the material. Um, I just thought it was really cool and something a little bit unique. Um, I did get it in a size 2 because I didn't have a size 3, but as I said, I really liked the jumper, so I didn't go past it. I do feel like this will fit him quite well anyway. It just might not do him so well next year. This was only $15 and, as I said, in a size 2. So it has the hood on the top. Again, even the hood has the texture. So I felt like this was a really nice looking jumper. And the final jacket I got is this one right here. This one's actually for Phoenix. Um, it is labelled as a raincoat. Now, I wouldn't trust it to be weatherproof. I would say it's more weather resistant. Yes, not weatherproof. Um, yeah, I wouldn't really trust it as a raincoat. Um, it just is a navy colour with some stars on the back. Uh, has a really nice thin hood on top. Something that she doesn't have in her wardrobe at the moment. This was $17 and I got it in a size 1. So the next item I picked up is just this packet of socks here. So it's a three pack, so you get like a really blush pink, a baby pink, and a grey pair, and these were only $2. I may as well throw these in while I'm here because they're in the bag. I picked up myself a pair of flats. These were on sale for four bucks, and I thought for around the house, you can't go wrong. 
Okay, now we're on to shoes. So the kids really needed some shoes. They have outgrown everything. I did get Phoenix four pairs of shoes for her birthday. So she already has quite a few. So this is more for Andre. I did get some for Phoenix, but these are more for Andre. Now I used to spend a lot of money on shoes when it was just Andre. Um, he always used to have branded shoes because I thought that's quite important uh, for their growth until I realized he would get to maybe three wears out of them. Um, before they got destroyed or he outgrew them. So now we're going more with uh, affordable options. So the first pair of shoes I got are just this pair right here. They're just a black pair of sneakers um, with the white sole. Now they look quite chunky, but they are very light. So I feel like they're not gonna be too hard to walk in. Um, these are in a size eight and they were only $20. They also come with the uh, elastic over the top to help with grip and stability. So I really liked these shoes. So the next pair of shoes I picked up are just these ones right here. Another pair of sneakers. They're just white with the gray and black detailing. They are a lace up. Again, in the size eight. These were only $15. I feel like these shoes, again, will be easily dressed up or dressed down. He can wear them every day or he can wear them out with a pair of jeans. Now, the next pair of shoes I got are just these ones right here. They have like the faux leather at the front in black and they have like a navy linen sort of material on the side with the orange detailing. Um, these are also lace-up shoes. They have a tag on the tongue here just to dress it up a little bit more. These are more going to be for if he does go out, if we go out as a family or go to an event or anything like that. These are sort of the shoes I think I'll put him in. Um, these are only $15, size 8 can't go wrong. I thought they were really, really cute. And I really liked the orange detailing. I thought they were something a little bit different and just kept them nice and fun and youthful. And the final pair of shoes I got for Andre are just these slippers here. He picked them himself. They are little dinosaur slippers. Um, they have like a scaly detailing on them. They have like the eyes and the nose. He picked them out himself. He's really into dinosaurs at the moment. These are actually in a size seven. So it will be a nice snug fit, but I didn't want his foot sort of slipping out. But these were only $13. So he really liked them. If it keeps his feet warm, then that's cool. They do scream little boy, don't they? Okay, we have two pairs of shoes left and these are for Phoenix. So I picked her up just these really cute little brown booties because she doesn't have anything like this in her wardrobe. And I think coming into winter, these will look really pretty with like her coats and stuff like that. Um, they're just like that faux leather and they have like the gold detailing here. Um, they do have a zipper on the inside, so really easy to get on and off. These were only $15 and I got them in a size four. Um, they do have a really good grip at the bottom. I did check in store just because she is learning to walk and they're not overly heavy. So I was really happy with this purchase. How cute are they? And the last pair I got are just some slippers for Phoenix. I just got them in like a really fluffy pink with like a silver glitter speck through them. Um, the glitter will not come off because it's quite a thick uh, speck. It's not so much glitter. It's more like a confetti type. I don't know, but it's not going to come off. So we don't need to worry about that. I got them in a size four. They have a hard sole, so they won't slip. I also checked these in store. Um, I still think she may need to wear some socks with it just to make sure her foot's really in there at the moment, just because she's crawling still. She's learning to walk. We're getting there. It won't be long. Um, but while she's crawling, I think she'll need some socks just to hold them on so they don't sort of like fall off when she's crawling. You know what I mean? But yeah, some really cute slippers right here. And these slippers were only $12, so I thought they were super cute and really you can't go wrong. So that's it guys, that is the end of my kids winter clothing haul. I do hope you enjoyed. I am aware that kids grow out of everything super, super fast. That's why I love shopping at places like Best and Less and Kmart, because you can pick up some really cute items for a really affordable price. Some of those items were as little as $2 and $5, so can't really complain about that. I hope you did enjoy this video. It is something a little bit different from my channel, um, but I hope some of the mums out there did enjoy it. Um, and I just wanted to show them to you guys to show you that you don't need to spend a lot of money per item um, to get some really cute things. Thank you guys for being here, and thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Also, if you want to see more videos of mine, please don't leave without clicking the subscribe button and turning on the little bell notification. That way you get notified every 
single time I upload. I hope to see you guys back on my channel really, really soon. Until then, take care of yourselves. Bye, guys.